Hi everyone, it's Clyde Vibrant Soap, and I could not wait to make the soap today. It's from Brambleberry's Alien Type Scent, and oh my gosh, how did that happen? <laughs> I'm just going to keep going with it. My camera's just kind of slowly sinking into the floor. So anyway, uh, maybe aliens are controlling my camera, I don't know. But um, I love this fragrance, and it's basically the name of this fragrance that made me think, hmm, there's some interesting things I could do with the design of this soap. So I also wanted to take this opportunity to say, you know, I've been using my Instagram um, account to show pictures of things that inspire me. Um, and the inspiration doesn't come right away. It sometimes kind of just has to sit in my brain for a while and eventually the right scent will come around and I'll go, oh, I bet this would be great inspiration for that type of soap. So it doesn't, in other words, occur to me to take a picture and immediately say, aha, this is the soap that I'm going to make with that picture. But that's the reason why I take photographs is because I don't want to leave it all to my memory to be able to picture these things from the past. So anyway, there's that page, but I also want to show you this interesting place along the route to Las Vegas. I've been passing this alien jerky store for a long time, and every time I go in there, they fix something else up. And this might have just pushed me in the direction of making this alien soap. I can't remember if I got the fragrance after I saw this place again or what, but isn't this a kick? So. I want to show you how I played around with the color and eventually how I poured this to make my alien soap. So last year in July I did a soap called Jupiter Ruby Grapefruit and you can still find that video online and it turned out to be pretty cosmic looking um, as you would think Jupiter would look. I'm also a sci-fi buff, I really like sci-fi so I came across this fragrance from Brambleberry called Alien uh, Fragrance and so I want to replicate that strange beauty of something cosmic, something science fiction like but I want, it has to be beautiful. It's like uh, the Alien movies, those creatures really aren't so beautiful. I guess they are in their own right. But uh, I want a beautiful soap. So I'm going to just take the cue from what I believe these aliens would look like so um, I'm going to use green and I'm going to tone that down just a little bit with some white something like that but I also want a little bit of a lighter green or lighter pastel of green kind of creamy looking because that's of course what aliens look like maybe a little bit more on the yellow side I think actually I want my main green to be a little bit more on the green side too it's going to be a bit more I guess you could say based on amphibians that's got to be a little bit more very specific what I'm kind of picturing in my head so um, I'm playing around with it until I get a color that's matching what I'm envisioning and that's got to be more creamy colored so I'm adding more white to it that's pretty much what I'm picturing and I also like turquoise in this creature I'm making so blue and green make a nice teal and then I'm going to add some white to that. My thought process is really hard to describe but I'll do my best. I'm picturing uh, the creatures from the alien movie are a slick black but um, I thought of these creatures and I thought well if I wanted to make them over, give them a makeover with some makeup. I would add some streaks of green and turquoise. Um, that's what I'm picturing there. And then they would be blotched with some um, gold, as little spots. And that will be my drizzle on top. 
and of course it's hard to come up with metallic qualities using watercolor when the micas look very much like uh, metallic so something a little more orange than that Clyde I said a little not a lot so let's add a little more yellow to that metallics reflect light so you know if I add just some yellow that is not completely blended in there that might simulate what I'm after a little bit more so those are my main colors and I'm gonna have just a little tiny bit of black and streak that in this soap so I'm going to do basically an in the pot kind of swirl and a spinning swirl kind of a union of all those kinds of uh, swirl techniques I'm going to put these colors in the pot and turn the soap mold as I pour it and try to streak it in such a way that it gives a texture to the soap so that's the color tutorial um, basically it's a analogous color scheme right here with the greens and blues colors next to each other on the color wheel and then yellowish orange which is a kind of skip away from that so this is purely an accent uh, and then black so that doesn't really have a name as far as I can tell you but just it's a little patch of warm color mixed with the coolness of that and some black as an accent so let's get started with the soap. Okay, pour my colors. So very green, green. Some turquoise. Some black that I mixed with a little purple. And then I have some black oxide. Just in case that wasn't enough activated charcoal, I can darken that up. Alright, so let's see here. More green. Black. And then I wanted a little bit of a lighter green too, so I have reserved some titanium dioxide. And I will add some of this green to that. Okay, so let's blend this. Okay, so the base, the reason why this is more complicated than I wanted it to be is I didn't want the black all the way through the soap because I didn't want it to darken the sink when it's used. So I'm making the major portion of the bottom lighter because it doesn't have the black in it also using my bigger bowl so it's got more bubbles because it's more shallow and the blender takes some air from up above it so let me stir those bubbles out let's get according to my plan just a little bit of the black in the base I wanted less black, but I don't want it to be absent from the bottom because it should integrate. A couple stirs. Then I'm going to pour it into this. Actually, I'm going to spin it later. I can just do this right now. That 
shake. Now I'm going to combine the rest of my colors in the same bowl. Off camera I'm stirring my colors. Okay, so this is going to go in the bowl. It's my tart green. Get it all in. My turquoise in there. Get all of that in. And then the black. Okay, and then I am going to just give it a couple deep stirs so that the colors don't get lost in this. And what I'm going to do is just pour and stir this, spin this at the same time, which I've done before in my Vibrant Amber Soap. But I thought with this fragrance of Alien, I could make something kind of science fiction-like. And so far, so good. And just, I want a little bit of this gold and copper mica. Just lightly drizzle along the top. Just keep in mind that I'm going to put my dividers in here and I want every bar to have some of this drizzle. I'm just making sure that these dividers are pushed all the way to the bottom of the mold. And it's pretty much setting up already, so I'm glad I got that in there. Um, so one thing is, when you look at pores like this, before you put the dividers in, it looks so busy. But if you remember that, um, they'll become smaller bars after you separate them from the dividers. Each little composition here is not as complex as everything put together. So I think this is going to be great. I'm happy about this. It looks like every single color is represented in every bar. And uh, what else can I say here? Some interesting things. It'll be nice to unmold these and see what we have separately. I really like this corner down here. But I'm really glad that the other colors are swirled in there like I had hoped for. Okay, so let's let this uh, cure overnight and I'll come back and unmold it. I also decided that since this is a space alien, um, it needs a little glitter. They came from the stars after all. Okay, I'll come back for the unmolding. Okay, let's just hope that these slip right out of the mold. I usually don't have any problem. Yeah, I think this is just going to slide right out. Generally for me, if the sides pull away easily, this just falls out. Like so. I think the most particular thing about this soap was getting the green right. I wanted alien green and that's exactly what I got so I was going to lift this up and turn it over but it'll just pull the bars right out which is kind of good but uh, I kind of want you to see the surface of the soap as I was pulling the rest out but So let's see, how did I get this color scheme? 
I, um, I pictured a, a base of black with streaks of turquoise and green in it. Uh, I guess one of my influences were the uh, Fijian iguana. They've got a, just a beautiful color to them. And uh, so far I haven't seen a real space alien, so I had nothing to base it on. And then um, just a streak of glitter. And then, of course, the copper mixed with gold mica. Look how slick, like glass, the sides are. I really love that. And I did want, you know, uh, a nice texture to the top, as if it were um, alien skin or something like that. And I fragranced it with uh, Brambleberry's Alien. It's an alien type soap fragrance. I love this type of random swirl because I'm really entertained by how different each of the bars looks. A little zigzag design in that one. Actually, the backs of these look very alien-like, too. I have to say the sodium lactate really helps with this because by accident one time I left out the sodium lactate and it was not as easy to unmold. So this is what I ended up doing with my excess soap batter. I poured it in a little oval mold. And the reason why I didn't just try to scrape it all on top of my slab mold soaps is I didn't want to disturb the design by just glopping over leftover soap. I'm not gonna bore you with all of this cleanup work, but I think people do want to see what I do through the whole process. Okay, so that's how I clean up the edges. And I'll just say goodbye to you right now. Thanks for watching the making and unmolding of this alien, space alien soap. Ooh. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for all the kind words in the comments and for subscribing. And we'll see you next time for the next video. Bye, everybody.